few mile handicap and away they go and as they race away it's a pretty good break Aussie Valentine was quick right up there too was trading point Marshall Jennings is trying to get to them New Merian's happy to sit fourth fifth and Magnetic North and trading point with Aussie Valentine they're the one two three going to cut out the early running Rufus King is close behind them just behind this one is Allegio out wide turn Brielle sweated up quite a bit and hasn't got any cover that won't help New Merian's on the inside behind Marshall Jennings as they're being followed Jassar in the blue jacket is right stuck in the middle of horses and just behind this one is Bar Ruiz in the orange jacket. Outside these is Ina Morare. Racing keenly behind these is Wee Jim with insignia of rank and Zabriskie's towards the back of the field with only human. And another one towards the back is Hamley. So they continue on now to pass the five furlong and it's Aussie Valentine on the inside. Just outside is trading point. They're being followed by Allegio. On the inside is Magnetic North and then Rufus King. Quizical is next and they're being followed by Marshall Jennings and Jassar in a Morara and Barrowees is Kane. Then on the inside, New Merian goes well. Behind these, Salt on Stall. Then towards the inside, Insignia of Rank, We Jim, Hamley, Turnbury Isle, only Human and Zabriskie. Down the hill they come, passing the three. And it's Aussie Valentine, the winner of seven races, being followed in second by Trading Point. Then Magnetic North, just behind this one, trying to pick up his inner Morara. Right in there too is Rufus King. Marshall Jennings trying to get out there's not much room there. Jassar is ridden. Salt on Stall picks up well from the back and then Borrowees is ridden. Has a lot to do as they turn for home. Trading point goes to the front just from Aussie Valentine. Rufus King. Marshall Jennings has got out now and has the room. In a is next. Salt on Stall still trying to pick up and out in front. It's trading point. Here comes on the near side trying to get on terms. In a Marare. Marshall Jennings is in between them. Salt on Stall comes home best of all on the near side. Now it's in a Marare and Salt on Stall for the big one. Salt on Stall just coming on well. Quizzical. Salt on Stall has got there. Physical second, back on the far side, challenge that in Morare, Marshall Jennings, and then Magnetic North, and they were followed in by only human. And other. But this one has gone the way of Sultan Stall. It was James Fancy. Colin Keane has a quick double. Ada McGuinness has picked up the big one. He had some listed form. He was formerly trained by McAlford, but here today he has taken the big one for Ada McGuinness. Oh boy, it was fast and furious, wasn't it? But Richard, you picked this fella out some way out. Sultan Stall was cantering uh, three furlongs out. Colin Keane, champion jockey, not for nothing. Here he comes on the outside. Wins well. Absolutely. We were talking about draw bias and how 14 wouldn't really be a big help to him but you know the man on his back was he he rode it patient he didn't he rode the race so as he found it he didn't commit early and the horse found generously he traveled like the winner everywhere through the race and hats off to Inamorari as well ran a huge race for Gavin Cromwell and Lee Roach but to be fair to Salton Stall he had to give her uh, seven pounds and did that just that he improved from the Curra form he when he was closely matched with Marshall Jennings Marshall Jennings ran another cracking race here today but to be fair the last time this horse got his head in front was last summer off a mark of 109 and today he was competing off 89 and that's just what caught a lot of people's attention. He was strong in the market. I think he went off, the boys were saying something like 8 to 1, we'll see what he returned. But in a wide open handicap you want to see something that the handicapper has given a chance to and I think Edo McGuinness had everything right for Salton Stall today. Yeah, and um, Sheila Lavery's horse came home well as too, like Magnetic North, he ran on really well, I think he might have got up to be third ran a cracker as well too was uh, the handicapper can take his hat off here too and he won a 10 horses off the last bent had a chance great celebrations there with the lads connected with him great one for Edo great for Edo out there from uh, uh, Donna Bay out that country Lusk I think it is a rush somewhere in that area rush uh, he's really rush or lusk one or the other he loves to farm laytown in that meeting he's up around there and he'll get great satisfaction out of this he he's uh stable mate ozzy valentine set out the fractions in front and this horse opposite tactics came from well behind colin Keane, a double on the card and uh just he'll get a lot of satisfaction out of that because he he knew that he had a lot he'd a lot on his plate from draw 14 and he rode the race as he found it that was if any young rider wants to, to see how you should ride Galway, that, that, that is how you do it. Jane, he was always going to be banged there. Do you know, on his last bit of form with Jazir and Marshall Jennings, uh, he came out third of those three uh, in that race, but he's come good here in proper order. Here he is. We can hear from Colin. Yeah, a very happy Colin Keane and very happy connections as well. Some cheer went up in the parade during Colin when he went past the post, but this horse, he really deserved a win like this. He's, he's some star. He is, yeah, and he was a horse who was coming back to his form on his last run, so it was great to get this pot today for the lads. How confident were you coming around the final bend? Because there looked like there were about six of you in with a chance at that stage. I thought we had everything covered as such behind us. It was just for what was in front of us, uh, Dunnick's horse. 
he was just after getting out and getting running and but this time was travelling well as he met the racing ground and he really powered up the hill. You were saying just one race ago how nice it is to get a winner here at Ballybrit. It's even nicer when you win the feature race on the evening. Yeah, I know, it's brilliant. It's a great atmosphere here. So it's uh, it's great. And Zoe is leading up the horse. Zoe, this is a, a really nice horse and he's a great character. I've done interviews with him at I don't know how many different race courses now and I didn't jinx him today. I stayed away from him. You stayed away today as well. Ah, oh, geez, no, we're absolutely delighted. It's great for the connections and everything, especially for the yard, Stephen and Ado. Like, the work we all put in, it's just, it's nice for to come out on big days like this. That's what it's all for, doing all that hard work for these winners. Oh, that's it, yeah. I think Sultan Stoll wants to have a few words as well, but we'll let you go. Well done. Thank you. Oh, Ada McGuinness, everyone is thrilled for you. Well done. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm sh a bit shocked, but look, we're delighted. We're thrilled a bit. I can't believe it. And look, it's great for the crew. We worked hard and all the guys in the yard and everything. And the guys, Dooley Brothers, Sedona from Manchester and Bart O'Sullivan, they're joint owners and he's our yard sponsor as well. And it's just amazing. It was a plan and, you know, some of these plans don't come out, but this has come out, so it's brilliant. Tell us about when it was hatched, because you bought him for, what, 44,000 and change at, at Goff's uh, Horses and Training Sale last year, and he's won, what, 72 or 3 today? Yeah, look, at Stevie, that my assistant, and he's brilliant at picking out horses. He had him picked out in Goff's, and um, we looked at him and we said, he had a few problems, I think he bled a few times, and we said, look, he's a horse we could take a chance on, and that's what we did, and we always said to guys, we've... In, these new owners are ours, the Dooleys and Bartos, all of them, he said, Galway is a fantastic place to be and, you know, we'll try and gear him up for Galway, so it's happened. Of course, I'm sure he'll be here again on Sunday. Yeah, we have a couple in on Sunday, but he'll definitely be here Sunday, there's no doubt about that. Behind you, go and enjoy them all with Adam again, it's well done, thanks very much. Cheers. Yeah, Ado's the sound's a bad, right good fella, Ado, Lusk as well, it's not Rush, Lusk, I knew he was that area, and, uh, very much involved, he's a young fellow man in the show jumping world as well too. Has done a great job with these horses. A lot of sort of no real expensive horses, buys them and wins a lot of races with him. Whether it's the flat or over jumps and he's a right fellow, you know. On the right there. <coughs> right man, he's back as well too. As you say, Jane, he's a, a former champion and he'll be champion again in time to come, whether it's this year or next year. He's really out the top draw. I must say, Robbie Colgan uh, gave uh, the third horse a great ride as well, too, as did uh, Lee Roach on uh, Inamore, Inamore. But I think that uh, if you look back at it again, that uh, the winner was just too good from on the day. All the Peaky Blinders there on the right, the lads that own them. Yeah. Is that what they dress like, Robert? Well, they're good and polished anyway. They are, yeah. <laughs> they look like it, don't they? they I, I say now they, they look like Peaky Blinders by 2 or 3 o'clock tomorrow morning, maybe. Yeah. They'll, they'll enjoy this. This is a, a huge pot to win and a prestigious uh, race in itself, but Galway just makes it even more special. Plenty of, they'll write a few quid on them, an £84,000 first pot. Everything about it is good. <laughs> The winner was drawn out wide, but over a mile it doesn't matter so much at Galway. It's only the seven furlong uh, draw that really catches them out out wide. You want to be nearer the nearer the the rail, but uh, over a mile it's not nearly as important. We can have a look at it again, I'm sure. And it was important that they went a good strong pace, Robert. Really, wasn't it? Ozzy Valentine went forward, and Colin was able to slot in. If they had gone slower. Uh, you see there, straight from the gates, there's people riding for position. Colin is about four from the end here with the big red cap and the cheek pieces. He's only got about three or four horses behind him here. We don't see the head-on shot. He's still very wide at this stage, but they're running in a straight line, and he's able to give him a chance to get in gradually. By the time he gets to the first bend, he's far inside of set of six or seven wide, but he has dropped this horse in to take his time. He's the horse with the red cap and the cheek pieces and the white face, so keep an eye on him all the way. He's the horse that's... Uh, uh, ends up winning the race. Yeah, he just so happens to be following the horse that finished second, second. in a Marare, and that's very important to have a horse that carries you into the race. Marshall Jennings is on the rail in the purple and green, and Donica O'Brien is also down the rail in Numerian. So very different tactics from a lot of riders, but because they're going good and quick, Ozzy Valentine in front, Colin is happy in the knowledge that when he hits the hill, the complexion of the race will change completely and that he doesn't have to commit too early because the horses in front will have to be very good to stay going. Yeah, but Colin is absolutely bolted along there too. He's not any way anxious. If you watch Jamie Heffernan and he's outside, he's working. Even in Marari, his rider, he's working as well too. Colin doesn't want to be any closer than he is here. He's going to delay his challenge. He just follows Imari 
around off the bend there. Uh, Lee Roach, Colin is still full of horse, poised there. You know by his body language, he still has loads of horse left. He hasn't dipped the tank yet. On the other hand, with the yellow cap trying to make on the stripes, that's the horse that finishes third, Robbie Colgan, um, on Sheila Lavery's horse, Magnetic North. Now Colin gets about his horse, stick in his right hand, gets a few tears into him, picks it through into his left hand as quick as lightning, gets a few more smacks, and gets up on the last dying strides. Brilliant ride from a good tough horse. First three lads. I'll give him smashing rights, as I said, so many of the other. We always praise the winner. Billy Lee got a grand run on the inside as well, too. Just not good enough. Tracy is with the Peaky Blinders. <laughs> I'm here with the owners, of course, the Dooleys. There's a lot of Dooleys and, and one O'Sullivan. Pat, is it? I'm Bart. Bart, Bart. Bart. many Bart. congratulations. I, I saw your reaction. I mean, you were over the moon. <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't... Yeah, you... This fella and this, he asked me to join them in, in a partnership, and I thought, well, yeah, okay, but I must explain to you, I'll only want my horse trained in Ireland. The prize money's better, the crack's better. I don't want to take him to Chester or Haydock. Everything's better here. Better, yes, far better. All my friends are here. It's a dream. It's a very, very big dream of mine, yeah. James, James Dooley, you're one of the Dooleys. Sounds like a group, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, how do you feel? This is incredible. You just absolutely wanted... unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. So we've been waiting all year for the softer ground. We got it today. We managed to get our head in from. We met Bart. We've known him a few years, but last year we decided to team up. And this is what we've done it. This is what we've done it for. We've done it for my mum as well. Mum retired this year. So we put the partnership together. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. How do you feel, Mum? Absolutely amazing, proud of your boy. <laughs> very proud, very proud. Well done, Salt and Salt. Where, where are the celebrations tonight? Uh, I think we're going to go away. Uh, Key Street, I believe. I think that's the destination we're heading. Uh, well, well deserved. He did it brilliantly. And, and a word for Ada, of course, a fantastic trip. Yeah, amazing. Stay and Ada are just doing a fantastic job. So we're over the moon. Just amazing. <laughs> well, enjoy every single second. You'll never forget this day. Thank You'll you never forget it. Well done. Much. Pleasure. Hello.